party people it's randy for thunder horse ascendant i'm here and today i'm excited i have some jesse james um components to work with these are wild sides so, so i'm excited i hope you guys enjoy this video please visit the description box below you down there you're gonna find my affiliate links links to thunder horse descendant both etsy store and website links to jesse james for these items that i'm going to be using today um and timestamps. so if you want to fast forward rewind do whatever you got to do you can do that also, please support your girl by giving this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, do the, the, the commenting, and all that YouTube business would be helpful, and I would appreciate it. Let's get on into the video. Okay, and then also, uh, you get this one focal bead. If you were to, I suppose, if obviously we'll use this for earring, but if you want to maybe take these and do a little bracelet to match all your earrings, you probably could, or a necklace or something. We'll look at that. All right, guys, let's get on into the first project. I'm going to clear this from the mat. Okay, here I'm going to use a 21 gauge square wire. That says silver, but this is gold because this is what I have on my desk. So. <laughs> comes in a round loop like this. This is square. If you're not familiar with square wire, I sell square wire on my website. You can give it a whirl if you want. I'm going to cut a little more than one because we're going to, a little more than one loop because we're going to do some, some stuffy stuff here. I also have uh, my Jesse James uh, kind of silvery mix over here. And I just thought we'd grab out a boho bead of some kind. Maybe that one. That one. Maybe this one. Yeah. And we'll wrap these two up. Make you pendant. Since we got this in the in the uh wild side mix, we might as well be wild about it, right? So I am going to start here. by putting this bead on so this bead kind of has a front and a back the back is more like uh cloudy and more like ab finish and the front is more kind of like crystally so i'm going to take the crystally portion and i'm actually going to just run this up the back you could run it up the front too depends on what you want to do uh if you wanted to use this as the front and put some little you know, like a bead on there or something, you could do that. But for the purpose of this, I'm just gonna twist. Okay, I'm gonna leave this side out. I'm gonna put on this boho bead. And I am going to find my bale Megan plier, wherever that went to. Here it is. So, little side in the front, big side in the back, because we're not making a super big loop right now. We're going to go over the front, spin it just like you would a normal loop, and we are going to go one, two, three. Now, I'm not going to go across this boho bead because I think this boho bead is pretty enough as it is by itself. It doesn't need any, like, additional anything. So, I'll just leave it like that. Now, this here, what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna wrap around. I'm going to go again because it's... Jake, come on now. <laughs> I'm just wrapping so it gets kind of messy here. Here's just a little crystal. So I just take this little crystal, put that on there. Grab the tippy tip of the wire. I'm gonna spin the wire and this piece at the same time. I'm gonna keep spinning until it looks like this. And push it in with my thumb. And you can maneuver then your bead however you want it to go. 
And what I'm going to do is this got a little wonky here, so I'm just going to go ahead and give it that trim off. And I'm going to grab a hold of that tail, and I'm going to just spin a little more so that it kind of is not going to jump out hurt nobody. And get that all arranged. And then, after I have it the way I want it, I go in, give everything a little snug up so it doesn't move around too much there. There we go. Now, all you need for that is a chain. So, let's just pull out one of our uh, chain reaction here in gold. And, you know, do I have two of these? I wonder if I do. I'm getting the split ring off. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Okay. So actually what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, I know you guys are just like, Randy, what is happening right now? What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to cut this middle. I'm going to put this on there. And I'm going to take a little tiny gold jump ring and put this back together. This is like a EB teeny weeny, teeny weeny, teeny weeny weeny little jump ring. I don't even know what size it is, like a three or something. This is a Loctite jump ring. I also saw these on Thunder Horse Ascendant if you're looking for some. Um, but I'm using this because it's like the smallest one that I have, and I'm just praying that it's going to fit through all these little holes, which, yes, it is. Okay. So now, this is not going to move past your crystals. So it's going to have a little bit of movement but not so much where it's going to move anywhere you know i mean out of the way so now all i got to do is throw a lobster on here and or what other kind of toggle you know clasp whatever you whatever you want to use i'm gonna use this big one and i'm gonna get a gold extension and i've got I've got some, these are some more Loctite jump rings. Uh, these are a little bigger size. These are, I think, sixes, but they should work. They should work. That's the only thing. Yeah, it's not going to work. That's the only thing with Loctite jump rings is that they are a thick gauge. And sometimes you will run into an issue with that. But what you can do is I think these smaller ones... These smaller itty bitty teeny ones I was talking about are obviously a smaller gauge because they fit through down by the pendants. So okay, are you just being complicated? No. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this little tiny one on there. I'm going to come back in with my bigger one. Put him through there. Then this guy. Tighten him up. And then this one, we have a crystal on the end, so good to go there. Just go with the uh, six millimeter Loctite and put on your little extension chain. And uh, a little something on the end there. I'm going to take this other Loctite jump ring I have out and uh, let me grab up something from the bead soup. 
because that's what you do. All right, I'm gonna zoom you out. So now we just gotta make sure our big old lobster fits inside of our uh, It does. And there you have a cute little pendant. Cute little pendant. On some chain reaction. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. I will leave a montage of photos and the all the sets of earrings and the little pendant at the end here. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.